Hi guys, after a long break, I'm back with a new recipe and this time I'm going to show you how to make tuna panini using a standard panini maker or without a panini maker. So here you can see a standard panini maker which, you, which I'll be using first off. And uh, to begin with, I will be using a can of tuna. In this case, I'm using a tuna in brine. I have drained the brine out. Um, if you're using tuna in sunflower oil, make sure you drain the oil out. Uh, to the drained tuna I'm going to add um, two teaspoons of mayonnaise um, and to that mayonnaise mixture I'm going to be putting some um, olive oil um, in this case I'm using extra virgin olive oil and um, the reason is I'm actually using tuna in brine which I've dra drained it so it's quite dry if you're using um, tuna in sunflower oil and you have drained it out um, you don't have to use the olive oil right to that mixture I just added a pinch of salt and some black pepper to my taste um, you can vary the uh, quantity of uh, or amount of black pepper and salt based on your taste and give that mixture a thorough mixing and you should end up with a consistency as you can see in front of you now so this should be the end product of your tuna mayonnaise mixture now let's just prepare some uh, cheese I'm using cheddar cheese um, if you have grated cheddar that's also good no problem you can just sprinkle those grated cheese on top of your sandwich when you're making it but I'm going to be using sliced um, cheddar so for my need I need to use three or four slices of this cheese just enough so that I can just cover the top of the sandwich as I'm making it so now start with two slices of bread on one of it you just put some um, tuna mayonnaise mixture uh, cover it up with some sliced cheese in this case you can also put some uh, dried uh, tomatoes or chopped olive oils it's depending on your taste but I'm going to make just a basic tuna panini so cheese and tuna mayonnaise mixture now uh, prepare your um, grill or the panini maker just put some oil at the base of it just sprinkle it rub it and then put your sandwich which you just made and uh, put some weight on top of it so that the heat is evenly distributed all the way through the sandwich and in few minutes you should have your tuna panini ready so this is how you would make a basic tuna panini using a, a panini maker now I'm going to show you now how to make the same thing without a panini maker. In this case, I'll be using a frying pan. To that, I just put uh, a slice of um, butter. Um, the frying pan is hot. And in that, I'm going just going to put a same sandwich as I put it in the panini maker in the frying pan with a bit of weight. And you will see that soon one side is done and you just have to flip the sandwich again before flipping put some uh, butter on it so that both sides are actually browned properly and heat penetrates the sand sandwich all the way through so that the cheese inside the sandwich gets melted and in few minutes again you would have your tuna panini ready without a panini maker so uh, this is what you can see the end product um, uh, the tuna panini is ready uh, we normally just use it during breakfast time sometimes I take it with me for my lunch for work um, I hope you give this recipe a try and let us know how you got on if you like the uh, recipe or not and if you did like it give this recipe likes and uh, share it with your uh, friends and family leave some comments down below let us know how you got on and we look forward to hearing from you thanks very much and thanks for your time watching this recipe